So this week, um, I'm all about the Craig Wright trial that's happening in Florida. Uh, so many people in the crypto world are watching it with great interest. In it, the estate of Dave Kleiman, represented by his brother Ira, is challenging Craig Wright, the man who notoriously has claimed to be Satoshi Nakamoto. But technically, it is not about whether or not Wright is the inventor of Bitcoin. And this is a really important distinction. This is a business deal. This, that's what's at the heart of this case. Dave Kleiman was an IT and security specialist who passed away in April of 2013. His estate alleges that Dave and Craig were involved in the early development of Bitcoin and that together they amassed an enormous stash of cryptocurrencies. And according to Craig, Kleiman was instrumental in assisting him with writing the white paper. All of this still has to be proven. After Dave's death, his brother, Ira, came to realize the scope of his involvement with Craig Wright, and he realized that it was quite possible that Dave was owed a great deal of money, especially in Bitcoin. And the thing is that after Kleiman's death, Wright kept all of the Bitcoins and the intellectual property rights, and Kleiman's estate wants its fair share. The lawsuit purports that Wright fraudulently acquired large numbers of Bitcoin owned by Kleiman by forging various documents. And that is what the case is about. Now, the thing is, we don't even know, did Craig Wright have, does he have control of the wallets that are supposedly part of this? Everything kind of came out after Dave died and I was piecing it together based on emails, based on conversations with people that his brother Dave knew and from stuff that he's heard from Craig, all of which still has to be proven in court. And that's important. Yeah, I was reading through this, and one of the amazing things to me is that we're back to talking about signatures, but a totally different kind of signatures. Um, at least some of the evidence being entered into in this trial uh, purports to be uh, signatures that are supposed to be from Craig Wright, but actually don't look like, uh, or sorry, supposed to be from Kleiman, but don't actually look like his signature. Um, there is a portion of this where a 21-year-old woman was appointed to be director of an organization and then participated in transferring assets in a way that weren't necessarily in line with people's wishes. So um, there's definitely some real like maneuvering happening. Um, and uh, but but to be clear, Christy, you, as you said, uh, this isn't going to necessarily and probably will not um, provide any illumination on Wright's others, other claims. He's not going to be in the course of this trial, for example, compelled to sign signatures from the wallets that he uh, has said are in his control. Is that right? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what um, the what the defense has in store yet. We will actually get Craig Wright on the stand today. Where the whole moving of bitcoins could come into play is if it is found at the end of the day that ira does have a case that craig wright does owe him billions of dollars or half of the billions of dollars he claims to have then craig's going to have to figure out how to actually give those coins to ira or at least to the climate estate and the way he would have to do that would be to move the money from satoshi well some of the wallets that are associated in this case are, have also been linked to Satoshi. So he's that's where it's gonna be interesting. Can he actually move any of the coins if he is compelled by the courts to pay damages or any money owing to the climate estate? There's so much going on. I know before we started the show, I was saying to David, there's so, always so much happening with Craig Wright and so many lawsuits. It's just so hard to keep up with this. Um, yeah. But Christy, you've did you've done such a wonderful job at explaining where we are. Now, can you talk us through the timeline? I mean, if if Craig does have to move this Bitcoin and he is able to do that, that's going to be shocking and a historical moment, I think, for for the crypto industry and the crypto community. What's the timeline here? I that I don't know. I mean, that's what that would be entirely up to the courts to decide what his deadline would be. Um, but right now we have a we have a, a yeoman on the ground. Cheyenne Ligon is is uh, in Miami at the court case, and she'll be reporting on it over the next week or two, just and giving us the lowdown on on what comes out of it. But yeah, we are not going to know. Yeah. Uh, never mind if it's going to happen, but when that'll be entirely up to the courts. Just one question, and then Jen has a has our next story. Uh, do we have any idea when Wright is expected to testify today? 
it's happening today. It could be happening as we speak. I'm not mm, sure. Okay. Um, we will be getting, though, a report from Cheyenne later on, I imagine, this yeah, evening. Absolutely.